Ladies and gentlemen, in any discussion on the EU at the moment, there is an elephant in the room. That elephant being the Lisbon Treaty. We voted in a citizens' referendum of Ireland and rejected the Lisbon Treaty, 53.4% to 46.6%. And as a result of this, we are now in limbo. Even though the Catholic Church did away with limbo, we, in our wisdom, created a European version. We will get a chance to revisit that decision, and whatever we as a country decide sets the backdrop for any vision of Ireland's future in Europe. Neve mentioned the similarity between Gar O'Donnell and Ireland, as we also have a public and private persona. The government represent Gar Public, who wanted a yes to Lisbon, but the people were more like Gar Private and said no. Essentially, we can go two ways, into the heart of the Union, or detaching ourselves and floating off into the mid-Atlantic. And we all know who's out there at the moment. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Iceland. The president of the European Commission, Barroso, said the euro is the only thing saving Ireland from the same fate as Iceland, as the EU finance minister, Steinbrook, says that no euro country will be allowed to collapse. The issues which opponents of the Lisbon Treaty, such as Declan Ganley of Libertas, have latched onto are the loss of neutrality and loss of autonomy in relation to taxation and political control. After research, it is our opinion that the Lisbon Treaty as presented has no direct bearing on these issues. Basically, the Lisbon Treaty is updating the functioning of 27 member states. The processes that were adequate for 6, 9, 12 and 15 states are not adequate for 27. The EU is a work in progress and we must recognise that many other countries may claim their right to be included in the European Parliament. Ladies and gentlemen, can you hear a noise? Well, that could be Turkey trying to get in. Opinion polls from the Sunday Independent and Sunday Business Post suggest that the Lisbon Treaty will be passed. Brian Cowan recently said, we are in a sea of doubt and if we do not take measures, we will find ourselves in turbulent waters. I think that people now see the Lisbon Treaty as a lifeboat. I believe this change in attitude may be driven by fear in our current economic predicament, rather than a real understanding of the issues. I believe this is a pity, because the issues of European defence and closer political integration are issues that we as a country need to address in order to follow our fellow Europeans. Ladies and gentlemen, my vision for Ireland's future in Europe is as a centrally involved and valued member of what will be a great political and economic power going into an uncertain future. The important issues to me, the really important ones, are climate change, poverty and hunger. And we as a generation need to address these issues. Neve said that Ireland, the island of saints and scholars, a thousand years ago brought a light to Europe in darkness. I believe we can bring something to Europe again, a willingness to address these important issues. But it is only with the might of a continent that we can make the changes that are necessary. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our vision. Gerd Miel Magor.